And guys, while editing this video, Zora just released a three hours only NFT, which it is extremely important. As we see over here, we only have three hours to go and mint this. A lot of people already got it. It is extremely cheap, only 26 cents over on Zora or our Bitum, as we see over here, 0 0.0001 ETH. We go and get it right now because it is a very, very important mint. It is available for only three hours, which they also released it over here on their Twitter. If you go and check it out, simply to go and certify you that it is three hour, it is a very important one. Let's go over to Zora over here and they have released it as well. This is available to me for three hours. There is a reason for it. It is extremely exclusive. I made this video late, but thank God because it is just come out. 20 set, make sure to go and grab it right, right now because it is really, really important. Sorry for the late video today, but I did go and check out on my grandma's. I did go and see her and once in a while I go and see her. So the video is a little bit late, but it's always here on a daily. So thank you for your support. With that said, we got our updates to talk and we jump straight onto the laptop. First thing first, we got a new, I uh, just released right now the uh, Vera Chain NFT over on Zora, which is the honey site over here which we go and meet. We have meted a lot previously, as we see over here, it is only 0.0007 ETH, the cost of this one. We will go and get it in any one that you have, any platforms or any chains that you have the possibility to go and go it. And I will do mine over on Arbitrum. Simply click on mint, you have the possibility to go and mint it and we are good to go. So definitely something really, really important. This one over here, I do recommend you grabbing it because it is really, really important. Over here, we see that it is from the honey jar, the one official, the 14,000. And by the way, when you mint it, you can get it on any of the other. You don't have to do it on RB2, you can do it on all the others. Simply click on mint, mint over here, select your platform, click over here, confirm the fees, $1.83, and we go and do it, done it, and we are placing ourselves for the Barra Chain airdrop even better. Following up, we got the Saga Bolt 4 airdrop has been taken. Now, we do know that Saga airdrops, they do not announce, hey, we are, you know, taking the snapshot in two days. It is a complete secret when they do it, and now they have done the Bolt 4, and their words will be out really, really soon in case you were in the Saga participation. Now, you know that the fourth one has Enter now. Following up, we got an update and we got an airdrop over on Prism. Now we are looking at Prism itself, but it is not the Prism token which we do go and get it for the next airdrop because we did delegate our token to the Prism ecosystem and the Prism validators. This is the A Triple U airdrop is here now. For this one, I'll show you how to go and check it. It is, there's all the explanatory things over here, which I don't want to waste 10 minutes to go and tell you, but it is a competition. Now you're able to go and trade, you're able to go and participate in. We got a full medium article, but there is not much to go and do for you to go and check your allocation. Simply go over here to the Prism network, connect your wallet, whether it is the Kepler or the Leap. I got the Kepler and my allocation is seven cent. We got six cent for the CA triple U, A triple U boost five, one and one so there are nine different positions that i did get and you have the possibility also to stake and whatnot now with this one you got all the important updates over here or on the tweet to go and check out what you gotta do now that the airdrop is live it's time for you to grow your auuu stack embrace the volatility react to the yield change and capitalize on every opportunity it is not the official prism airdrop but it is within the prism platform over here app.prism.zone forward slash portfolio the link is down below make sure to go and check and let me know your allocation now i do not know why i got seven cents or in total like 20 cents maybe you got like twenty dollars or thirty dollars this is just something that i did receive and let me know your allocation down in the comments below because it could be you know different or there could be something criteria that you guys met and I didn't. So make sure to let me know in the comments below. Following up, we got a new update. Now, Scroll came out, as we see over here, with many different canvas, many different possibilities to go and get yourself. So what you got to do? Well, as we see over here, we got all the other ones. And if you didn't join the Scroll ecosystem airdrop, I will leave you the link down below for you to go and join right now. But as we see here, we got all this as we have already checked to go and get, for example, the X name domain, which I will leave you also down below. I do believe this one is the most important. If you haven't done it, make sure to get it. It's basically saying crypto with Lorenzo dot scroll. That's the EVM domain. And then we got the cross chain for bridging, swapping, as we see over here, scroll reputation. So all of this, you gotta do it. And this is how my 
uh, canvas situation as we see over here we go over to the score network looks and let me know yours down below now i got a score of 67 i believe 67 yes and we are collecting kind of all of them now as we see over here explore the budgets we got some new ones and they are extremely easy to go and earn to go and collect as we see over here we got a i believe it is 10 or something we got the squirrel bridge one two three four five six now they are super easy there is no minimum required and all you gotta do is bridge for example from blast to scroll arbitrum to scroll base optimism all from them to scroll now i know what you're thinking they are farming us yes they are farming the user absolutely they are farming it because by doing this you need to go and send tokens from taiko all the way to scroll from Arbitrum all the way to scroll. Let's say you have done scroll, you just bridge them out, bridge them in, bridge them out, bridge them in. So they do have this. It does work over here. If you open one, there is no minimum required. So you can go and bridge 0.01 to scroll. You got some fees, bridge it back and do the bridging with like $20, $30. It does work over here on Symbiosis. And if we go and do it, as we see here, for example, from scroll, what I do have, I have the possibility to send, for example, let's say from Arbitrum over here. So from Arbitrum 1, I want to send some Ethereum over to scroll, which is one of the criteria. Let's go and send 0 0.01, so approximately 20 cent. How much do I receive over on scroll if we go and send ourselves the Ethereum over here? With this one, it's $23.50. I do receive 2207. Now, it is quite expensive, and I do understand, like they are farming you. They are farming all of us and it is, as we see here, a $1.50 transaction fee. Is it worth it? Well, it is a more or less 10 transaction fee. So you're probably going about spending 15 to $20 in terms of the general, uh, you know, even more because you need to send also from scroll, for example, which I do have. If I do want to send it, if you do not have it on Arbitrum, but you need to send it from somewhere to here, etc you are wasting quite a lot of money. I do think that all of these scroll budgets right here, which in my opinion, it's a little bit of a pain. It is gonna cost you about $35 to go and do all of this time. Is it worth it? Am I gonna do it? I will do it. Is it worth it? I think so because scroll, it's all about this budget situation over here. Like this scroll error job is gonna be all about your you know, amount over here, the number of budgets that you have, the numbers of, you know, contract interaction that you do. We go over to the symbiosis one, which is kind of like working towards a possible airdrop as well from them or any sort of rewards as we see here, get up to 60% off, yes, but it is still quite a bit of a pain in my opinion to go and do. What would be the best option for you to do this one if you are an airdrop farmer? Well, my opinion is if you do have any funds and you are farming, for example, the jumper profile or the jumper airdrop, the bungee airdrop, once you go and do all the chains over there, for example, with jumper, you, one of the criteria is to go and get tokens and transfer from most of all the chains that they have at your disposal. Well, once you do it, simply remember that you, once you've done it, for example, you do Arbitrum to base over on Jumper. Remember that keep a little bit over on Arbitrum, keep a little bit over on Jumper before you bridge out of the base network over there and do this one. It is potentially like two airdrops in one. Yes, it is double the, uh, you know, double the bridging fees, but it still could be somewhat relevant for you to do it. So, Make sure that you go and check it out. Make sure that you go and do it. And as well, it potentially you've already used the Symbiosis website. So make sure to go and check if you can claim any of them before doing it. So you are going to save yourself some fees. But yes, they are farming you. But there are these new quests, which I wanted to let you know in case you were interested in doing it. Following up, we do have a JK Sync airdrop. If you did qualify for it, you have the possibility to go and grab yourself the D bank pin over here which is the successful mint that I've done it. And what it is, well, it is simply to prove that you have the possibility to go and earn yourself the non cyber badge over on D-Bank. And if you didn't know, D-Bank, as we see here, has the XP situation, and it is all about the future airdrop that they're gonna have. So if you haven't joined yet, make sure to join. The link is down below. You got rankings, you got XP allocation because of your 
uh, wallet size, mostly because of your wallet size and different activities as we see over here, you also got quests to go and join. So make sure to go and check it out. Make sure to go and join. And as well, I do want to say throughout uh, now, I would, if you see over on the screen right now, there is the possibility to go and grab yourself a share of 2 million Monji token over on Bybit. And how do you earn it? Well, as you're seeing from the screen, it is super, super easy. All you got to do is some free quests, such as following them, uh, retweeting, uh, connecting your wallet all within the Bybit Web3 app. And as you're seeing from the screen, the tasks are super easy. I've completed it and I got my share, uh, myself a share of the token. Now, do not expect that this token, it is randomly given to you. So it is a big pool of 2 million token that is randomly given out. Do not expect to go and make $250 right now. You're getting a share, which yes, when the token launches, it could increase in value, just like the other airdrops that we did. We did receive an allocation for the previous airdrop, which was valued at about $10. We did sell it sometimes at 15X, which it was the latest one, the ZK link. We did sold that at 150 because it did a 15X from the launch price to the top where we sold. So you're gonna receive the token at the entry level evaluation of all of the Bybit Web3 wallet ecosystem and airdrops. And then you have the possibility to sell it, but you are entering at the early stages. So in case you wanna go and check it out, let me know down in the comments below. But with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao guys.